Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is The Crystal Girl, thank you for being here. Today we are going to be seeing what your significant other looks like. And this can be someone who you're with now, this can be someone who you're interested in, this can be somebody who could be like your soulmate. The possibilities are pretty much endless with this, so we're just gonna see what they look like and their traits and things like that. So these are the piles. We have group one, group two, group three, group four and group five. So if you would like to meditate on the cards and we'll get started. So we have group one. So let's see what your significant other looks like. And we got rose quartz, which I love. Rose quartz is so pretty. It's my favorite crystal. And let's get right on into it. This is rose quartz, isn't it? Yes, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so we have laughter, parenting and children, dreams coming true. And then we have time to collaborate and bring your ideas to life. And we also have we also have the nine of wands. So the first thing I'm getting is this person is very kind of um, in tune with their emotions. I want to say they're soft, but not soft, because that's kind of like not a really good way of saying it. They're the sort of person who's very compassionate. That's the right word. Compassionate, kind someone who is very caring, someone who really looks after you. I feel like for some of you, this could be somebody you're already with, a partner. And this also could be, it's quite like quite a few possibilities for this one. So it could be someone who you're with already, a long-term partner, someone who you're actually interested in, or somebody who you're dating. So this could be quite a few people. Um, hopefully it resonates with you at some point. So this is gonna be somebody who you can have a laugh with, someone who you have like inside jokes with. In terms of the way they look, I'm getting short brown hair for a man. Obviously this could be a woman as well, so just take it how you want. Short brown hair, blue eyes, green eyes, short blonde hair, and ginger hair. I'm also guessing if they have brown hair, like really dark hair, I'm also getting like black hair. So if they have like black hair, they're probably going to have dark, really dark eyes as well. So that's kind of significant. So I'd be like the tall, dark and handsome kind of person. Someone who's about in between five, seven and six foot. So in between there. And somebody who stands very strong. I'm feeling they could be either um, a fire sign no, actually, there could be any sign. Fire, earth, air and water. Yeah, I'm getting, like, all the signs. And there's somebody who is actually very earthy. They like being outdoors. They like building. They like creating. They like doing things with their hands. So someone who's very creative. Um, they could also have, like, a rock chick kind of um, creative look. So they could have dyed hair, tattoos and be interested in the arts. So what does that mean? Painting, expression, very self-expressive. Someone, yeah, who's very in tune with nature. This person is also very intuitive. I'm getting, especially for a woman, if uh, this could also be you, if you're watching this, uh, someone who's very intuitive, so very spiritual, someone who looks after people, could also be a nurse. So yeah, someone who's very caring, and this is somebody who I'm getting more of a soulmate. Could be twin flame for about, I'm getting like specifically two of you. Or like a small amount of you could be twin flame, but I'm not really too sure. I'm getting more of a soulmate. I'm also getting that they could feel like a twin flame, but they're actually a soulmate. Also, if you can hear rain, I'm in a conservatory, so I apologise for the rain. If you find that relaxing, then that's good for me. <laughs> yeah, um... Someone who's very grounded. I'm feeling like if they have, um, if they're a, if they're a man, they could have quite long black hair as well, and they could like tie it up and stuff. So yeah, I'm getting someone who's very grounded. I'm just gonna pull another card. Let's see anything else that we need to know. Yeah, so this is someone who's gonna bring you out of your comfort zone, but in a good way. Someone who's gonna open you up to new ways of thinking and almost like new opportunities that you didn't think you could do. Someone who's extremely new, so someone you're not really used to. So I'm getting for people who haven't met this person, they think 
um, almost like a very new relationship. So people who are in a new relationship, especially for you guys, it's going to be someone extremely different. And for people who are in relationships, I'm feeling more that obviously you know this person, so you know that they could be a new helping you to find a new way of thinking. Yeah, I'm definitely getting someone like very spiritual, um, earthy. And if they're not spiritual, they've got that spiritualness in them, but they kind of haven't opened it up yet. And that's it. They're also very good with children. Yeah, someone family orientated. I think that's it. Is that it? Should we pull out one more card from the bottom? Okay. The full. And that wasn't in reverse. I don't really do reverses. So the full. Yeah, definitely someone who's going to help you to um, start a new adventure. For a lot of you, for a lot of you singles, this, this person is already here um, in the physical. So already you know this person. Or... Um, it's going to be somebody who is going to be very new to you. Someone you, you don't know, but they're going to come in quite soon. <clears throat> I'm feeling like spring, summertime, this person's going to come in if you don't know who it is. Someone who's very exciting. I'm getting a very new, quick opportunity. So it's someone who's going to come in quite quickly. So you don't have to wait very long. And yeah. So lucky you guys who picked this group because you're going to get your new person very soon. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if this resonated with you. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. And thank you for being on this journey with me. I really appreciate it and for clicking on this video. And if you'd like to, please subscribe down below. I'm doing private readings. If you'd like a private reading, then email me or you can message me on Instagram. I'm looking to get into a website. So... All my information will be on there when I actually make the website. <laughs> so yeah, uh, email me, Instagram me, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. So let's see what you guys got for your significant other slash partner slash whatever you are in that situation right now. <laughs> so we've got the nine of swords and we also have moving forward fearlessly and honoring your true feelings. And we also have take a leap of faith so you guys are in between mode at the moment i'm feeling like if you are single you are in between something at the moment you're kind of confused about where you are as in like job opportunities and new people so i'm feeling like if someone is going to be very fresh and new you could also know this person but you're not sure whether where the situation is going to go and just to let you know that this person who you're interested in you're not sure where it's going to go for me i'm thinking very positively about this so if someone it is going to move just not yet, if that's kind of what you're thinking. If you've got someone you're interested in or you're not talking at the moment, this is going to move quite nicely, I'm getting, smoothly. But there is a bit of heartache at the moment and you're in a rut and you're kind of confused. So just to let you know that it is going to move and it is moving. Just if you can't see it right now, it's kind of in the background. But it's very close background, so it is... It's like it's moving towards the 3D. It's kind of in the middle of the 5D and the 3D at the moment. So that's why you're in between phases at the moment. I feel like you're feeling quite emotional at the moment as well. So you're kind of, yeah, I feel like you're very emotional. And I wouldn't say I weren't, I weren't unhappy, but I'm kind of getting an unhappy vibe. Kind of a kind of agitated, oh my God, I want this to move on forward more. So let's see what the overall outcome is this. I'm just going to pull a couple more cards just to see what the situation is at the moment. If you are in a relationship, I'm feeling like there could be a bit of, um, maybe a couple of arguments, but it is going to move through. So don't worry about that. And also don't, don't, um, if you see someone that you're not really too interested in, maybe give this new person a chance. If they come along, someone you might not be thinking, oh, I don't know. But also, if you're thinking about messaging someone or you're thinking about going forward with somebody, then please do because they're they're telling me that it's it's safe and if you feel comfortable and you feel like this could work, um, it's gonna be fine. I'm getting like even if you're rejected and they like aren't interested in you, that opportunity will still be there. Um, it just might take a bit of time to move through, if that makes sense. So we've got the Four of Cups. So this is someone who's going to offer you the opportunity. And especially as it's literally what I just said about the leap of faith. So if something comes in, then don't dismiss it. If even if it is somebody you're not too interested in, they could really surprise you. Or this could actually bring you to a new opportunity. So let's see what they look like. So I'm getting blonde hair, brown hair, uh, basically all hair colours. I'm not really getting black hair. So ginger, I'm getting more like uh, the lighter coloured hairs. But I'm also getting brown as well. And somebody could have blue eyes and um, they could also be a Pisces, 
um, a can and a cancerian, and I'm also getting um, the throat chakra. So I'm definitely feeling like a couple of you or a few of you need to say something to somebody, but you're almost waiting for the right time, and that's okay. That's what what you're doing right now is good. I'm um, taking it nice and slowly. I'm definitely feeling like they could be a water sign specifically, but they could also have all the other elements in their chart, but not as their sun sign, if that makes sense. Um, they could also be an earth sign actually, earth, um, earth, sun or water, sun. So, and then they could almost like possess other qualities in their moon sign sort of thing. Um, in terms of the way they are, I'm feeling like they could be somebody who's very calm, um, someone who likes nature, someone who's very aware of their emotions um, and they're almost encouraging you to bring out your emotions, which is kind of interesting. So I feel like you could be almost closed off at the moment. Or you could be a sort of person that doesn't really share very much, kind of keeps it kind of closed in. And I feel like I want to pull like one more card on the top. I'm also getting Leo as well, so I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe somebody could be a Leo or something like that. And we also got time to collaborate. So yes, definitely if you are interested in somebody, this is somebody who's going to be really good for you. Uh, they could also be someone very new. In terms of where they're going to come in, I'm definitely feeling like spring. I'm also getting... Okay, this is really confusing because I'm getting spring, summer and winter time. I'm not really sure. They could like, you can meet them like a Christmas party or something. There's lots of different things I'm getting. Obviously it's general, so take it as you want. But yeah, I'm feeling like spring is really good because I'm feeling with spring, there's a lot of new people coming in for a lot of you guys. So, and this is somebody who's going to make you feel really secure. And I'm getting like an Instagram message or like, a text message so as I say if this is somebody who you haven't been in communication with there's definitely a message coming through that's going to be surprising someone it's very new very kind of like oh I really wasn't expecting that and this is also someone who likes building manly things <laughs> is what I got so like tinkering with things like motorbikes cars could like sports but I'm not really feeling that or they could like, just kind of like sports, maybe like a little bit of golf, maybe a little bit of football on the side, but kind of not really too into that. Someone who's very active as well, someone who likes yoga, pilates, tennis, that sort of thing. They could like some sort of sport, maybe running, but I don't feel like that's a very specific. I, I feel like that's specifically for a few of you, not for all of you. And yeah, that's it really. Um, I think that's it. One more card? Okay, one more card from the top. The Hermit, right. Oh my God, guys, this is so funny because there's like two sides to this. Is One side is there's, some of you are waiting on a water sign wait, or waiting on earth sign to come in, um, as in like waiting for a message from them. A lot of you are really interested in somebody, but they're in Hermit mode at the moment. And some of you are actually gonna get the opportunity, but I feel like these two could be connected also. So some of you, um, are going to have someone come in but they're all they're in hermit mode at the moment but they are going to offer you something and some of you are literally just going to have an offer straight straight given to you if you're not interested in anybody so yeah it also be, could be a crush like at work or something if you like this video uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up please comment down below if this resonated for you don't forget to subscribe and I appreciate you all so so much thank you for watching and don't forget to look down in the description below if you would like to book a private reading with me. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. So let's see what you guys got for group number three. And I apologise for the rain. It's going to be very loud. But I really hope you can hear me okay. So we got two of pentacles. Life is speeding up. Trust your intuition, beauty and problem resolved. So I actually, before I picked this group up, while I was like putting it into the camera, I got the song Thank You Next by Ariana Grande, specifically the lyrics, I'm so great, I'm so freaking grateful for my ex or something. So that could be really significant for you, you could be interested in an ex. So yeah, there could be somebody who you're interested in, like, yeah, there's someone who you're interested in. I definitely feel like as an ex, um, you're letting go of an ex, that's really, really good. And life is speeding up. Since you let go of this ex, this partner, like in the past, um, you're going to be moving on to something that's much more balanced, something that's much more fulfilling for you. And there's definitely an essence of balance here that's going to be really, really good for you. 
So in terms of the way your partner looks, I'm seeing brown hair, black hair, ginger hair, I'm not really seeing blonde. They could be an earth sign as well, specifically. And they're somebody who's very good with money and someone who is very calm around money. So someone who doesn't kind of get pent up when they're trying to figure out their accounts and stuff. Um, I'm laughing because it's just very specific. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else. Someone who likes gardening, which I'm seeing actually. Um, someone who's also a yogi. Someone who likes doing yoga, if that's the right word. Yogi is what I got. And I'm seeing somebody who's dressing like a... Either I'm getting two sides, two different people. So I'm getting someone who's very spiritual. Someone who's dressing like comfortable clothes. Uh, chilled out clothes or I'm getting somebody who dresses kind of like a motorcyclist don't know why I said it like that a motorcyclist so someone with like a biker jacket on and like a white shirt someone who's a cool dude is what I'm getting so they could also be I'm getting like a Leo because I feel like they kind of embody that kind of confidence in them they could also be an earth sign with Leo in their water sign and yeah someone who is very good with money let's see what else we've got for the two of pentacles the moon so yeah this is someone who I feel like I don't feel like they're ready for their emotions to come out yet I feel like that you could actually be dating this person and you're almost kind of on the verge of like oh do they like me do they not or this could be somebody who you're waiting on for them to tell you that they like you I feel like you like them but they're not sh but they're not sure and let's see actually let's get a clarifier for the moon because I feel like this could actually be something really positive because if I can see them working on themselves I can see you working on yourself as well old patterns so this could also be to do with the ex as well so this um this is like kind of figuring out what you want kind of looking into uh, different elements of your emotions and your the way you think around relationships so it's, it's kind of getting a whole new perspective on relationships so we've got the seven of wands so I feel like you could be in the middle of almost like fighting off a new person so I feel like maybe you're not actually ready for somebody yet or you could be kind of in the middle of dealing with a lot of emotional stress this could also be the other person as well that I'm looking into and we've also got death so yeah you're you're on a massively new cycle coming up I feel like the cycle is either it's either come into fruition now or it's it's literally just ended and you're starting to um, bring in a new, uh, basically a whole new life for yourself and it includes this person. This could also be someone who is actually into makeup and actually seeing a guy putting on makeup. So this could be someone who is, who likes that sort of thing or it could be someone who you, who appreciates your makeup, who appreciates the way you look. Obviously they will if they're your partner, but it's someone who specifically tells you that. And as I say, when it comes to your past definitely an ex is coming through and this is when it's a problem resolved and the life is speeding up this is kind of like the past you and this is like the new you so problem resolved is kind of like there's things that you have gone through and you've resolved them now so as i say it could be to do with an ex it could be to do with the past partner that you're kind of not really interested in anymore but since you've done that there's going to be this new person who's going to come in i'm not really getting specifically dates but i'm thinking it's not going to be that it's, it's going to be quite soon. I'm getting like springtime and winter time. So this could also relate to their birthday as well. And I think you might actually meet this person on the train. Or you could like take the same train. They could also be interested in trains. And like motor, like mot, motorbikes. Maybe motorbikes. Kind of like automobiles. Someone who likes to travel as well. And basically this is the past. And this is like the present. And this is the future. So what I'm thinking is there's something in your life that you need to trust your intuition on at the moment. This could be somebody, if you're messaging somebody or you're kind of, oh right, okay, for some of you I feel like you're actually feeling this person is all, all, all already here, but maybe not in the physical. Or you could feel like it's connection with somebody, but you're not too sure if they're the right one. And this is basically telling me that they are the right one and they appreciate your beauty and the way you are. And it's, it's beautiful. It's very authentic. So... I really hope this resonated for you and I hope this helped. Um, if you'd like to, please subscribe down below. My name is The Crystal Girl. I love every single one of you. Thank you so, so much for being here. And if you'd like to, please comment down below. Let me know if this resonated. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, all the information is down below. You can email me or message me on Instagram. I'm looking at getting a website, so I'm seeing how that's going to go at some point. But for now, we're just going with emailing. So, yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.
Hello group number four, thank you so so much for being here and let's see what your future partner looks like and any other traits and anything like that, any information we need to know about it. So let's see what we got. King of Swords, hello. I'm actually feeling like this could be the best group. Just feeling like because it's, I feel like you guys are ready for this. You're really, really ready for this new relationship if that's what you want. Um, if you're already in a relationship, then that's perfectly fine. <laughs> it doesn't really apply. You're in a good relationship anyway, so you've got the upper hand of anyway you're already a few steps ahead so we've got set healthy boundaries and king of swords we've also got quiet time make music and inner power so do you know what is really funny is every time i use this crystal i think it's an opalite i'm not really too sure let me know i'm not very good with crystal names i can never remember them but this crystal i always get inner power with this crystal for some reason because i feel like this crystal is so authentic and beautiful and it has so many aspects to it because it's so colorful and it reminds me of an egg like something new so i definitely feel like you guys are really coming into your power and it starts with setting healthy boundaries and if you've been struggling with this over the few years i feel like actually over your life i feel like you've had issues with boundaries in to do with relationships and sometimes you have gone into relationships too quickly and this has affected your mental health and your mental state so i feel like now you're actually recognizing it and it's a time to set healthy boundaries i think the number three is very very significant for you this could be your life path number this could be a number you keep seeing as well and for you i definitely feel like this is going to be somebody who's very very strong very they know what they want and this person is ready for a relationship now so you could actually be talking to somebody i feel like you could actually meet this person online you could meet this person in a park you could meet this person at work there are a few different places it doesn't have to be specific but i take what resonates and I feel like somebody you could take quiet time with or you are taking quiet time now to contemplate what you want and contemplate the sort of relationship you want. I'm also feeling like this person um, makes you feel very calm and it's somebody you can really relax with and somebody who actually plays the guitar I'm feeling like also likes music and you like music so you have that in common. I'm feeling somebody has dark skin, somebody with dark skin, so this could be, um, I feel like a brown, brown, like dark, dark skin, I feel like a dark skin tone or like a tan skin tone, so someone maybe from, I'm not really too sure, I'm not really getting the background of the person, but I'm getting like dark skin, brown skin, like kind of like a light, a light tanned skin colour as well. So this could be somebody who has, I feel it may be me me Mexican or Indian in their, in their family. So they could have that sort of background. I'm getting very strong eyebrows. So I'm not really sure what that's about. That's specifically for a few of you. And this could be someone, I'll say, oh, I'll say, I could see somebody is tall, dark and handsome, so dark hair, dark eyes. They could also be blonde with blue eyes, um, also be uh, ginger hair, like red, red head with blue eyes. I feel like it could be a very young personality as well. I feel like this person is so amazing. Like, I'm getting like a really like, oh my god, I can't believe this person is my partner. Somebody who's very grounded, wholesome and knows their emotions and knows how to cope with life. So very mature. But they're also very young spirited so someone who is um quite childlike but very kind of happy and kind of takes life as it comes i don't feel like they're much of a planner so that could actually irritate you i feel like a little bit but some of you for for other free spirited people obviously everyone is a free spirit but i feel some people like to organize and some people like to just go with the flow this could also be someone who actually brings you into a more flow state so if you're sort of a planner you like uh, like control uh, not in a bad way, just somebody who's very planned and organised. This could be somebody who brings out the side of you that's very um, open and kind of like, come on, let's just go out and do this. So let's pick a couple more cards just to see where any other information. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. This is what I'm saying is they could bring you out of your shell and it's somebody who's... Oh my god, this is 11-11 as well. So 11-11 is going to be really significant for you too. This could also actually be in 11 days is what I'm thinking. For a lot of the groups, the other groups, I actually didn't get a timing. But 11 days, I feel like is actually really significant for you. And this is also, um, could also be a twin flame as well. 
So Ace of Pentacles, definitely somebody who's going to help you keep grounded, someone who is good with money as well, someone who knows how to deal with money, and is somebody who is going to offer you something really, really amazing. This could also be a soulmate too. And if you're already with this person, I feel like you two have very, um, not so strong views, but you have very, you stand by your opinions and you both come together in that very well. So for anybody who hasn't got this person in their life right now or doesn't have a clue who this is, I feel like you're actually not going to know who this is for a little while. Um... Not, I think they're probably going to come in this year, but it's somebody who's going to... I'm seeing, like, a train, and they're on the train, and then you see them on the train. As in, like, not an actual physical... It could be a physical train, but I'm feeling, like, on on a metaphorical state. It's, like, they're on the train, and they're coming towards you, but you just can't see them yet. And it's, like, you've got all these trains coming towards you in front of you, but you're like, no, 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 these aren't the right people, I'm still waiting, when's this person going to come in? And then this, then this, like, amazing, like, person comes in on the train, you're like, wow, this person's amazing, this person's perfect, I'm glad I waited that long, that's what I'm getting. And also, they're bringing out these colours in you, you've got so many colours, and this is actually to do, as I say, with, with this crystal, with all the colours, so, yeah, I'm feeling like it's somebody who is going to bring out such a creative side in you. And you are very creative, I feel like, anyway. And this is somebody who's going to be like, wow, like, show me your artwork. Show me what you do. Show me your creations. And they're going to be very creative as well. Somebody's very happy, very kind of, yeah. I'm not sure what sign I'm getting. I've also got the Ten of Cups underneath. So this is going to be somebody who's so amazing. And, yeah, I'm not sure what sign. I'm Actually, this could be any sign. I'm not really getting... Yeah, I think this could be any sign, to be fair. I'm not really too sure on the specific signs. This could be any other signs. Air, earth, water or fire. So, thank you for watching. If this resonated with you, please comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel. My name is A Crystal Girl. I love you so, so much. If you want to, please give this a like. Please give this a thumbs up. And if you'd like a private reading with me, then uh, look in the description down below and we can sort that out for you. You can email me. Or you can direct message me on Instagram. So thank you so, so much for being here, for clicking on this video. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Hello, group number five. Let's see what you guys got. So I feel like a lot of you are earth signs or you're looking for an earth sign. Someone who is grounded. Because this crystal is green. That's kind of the essence I get. Uh, you could also have earth in your water sign or they could have earth in their water sign not water sign what am i saying they could have earth in their moon sign or you could have earth in your moon sign right let's see what we got what's the time right so we have the five of cups i've actually I've hardly ever got this card that's so strange i actually never get this card a lot and i was kind of like what card is this yeah, the Five of Cups we've got, and we also have the Sweet Results Await, and we also have Follow Your Dreams and Romantic Partner. Okay, so you actually have the Romantic Partner card, you're the only group who has that, so that's really, really good. Um, they're telling me to pull a couple more cards for this Five of Cups, so let's see what we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got the Six of Swords. And the lovers, oh my god, that is so cool. Guys, you have such a good group. I really want to pull another one of these cards as well, just another animal spirit deck, and we will see what we got. Claim your independence. I have never got this card, and I love cats, so I'm kind of, I'm really happy about this group. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys have so much information coming through. Damn, there's so much information coming through. Okay, so let's start off with these two cards. So we've got Follow Your Dreams and Romantic Partner. So wherever you're going to go in terms of your dream job, your dream lifestyle, that is where you're going to find this person if you haven't already. Follow your passions, follow what you creatively love. And I know this can be difficult in a, in a very physical 3D world where you have to have money to keep you... So you guys got follow your dream and romantic partner. So what I'm definitely feeling is wherever you're going to go in terms of your dream job, your dream lifestyle, that is where this person is going to be. And I love that we've got romantic partner and the lovers. So what I'm feeling is because these two are connected, I'm feeling like you or your partner who you have in mind or someone who hasn't come in yet, someone who you're going to be with 
is in a little bit of turmoil with their past. They're kind of looking back and thinking, oh my God, everything is just going so bad for me. But they actually have the two cups here that they're actually not focusing on. So I think once they've figured out what they want and what they're actually looking for, once they've found that sort of happiness within themselves, they're going to start moving towards the lovers and it's going to become really, really beautiful. Sweet Results Away is a card that I love. I just think it's so, so nice. And look out for the number seven and the number 13. And also the number four because three plus one is four. And also seven plus four is one so we definitely have a new start coming towards you guys if you're already with somebody and um, then just kind of ignore what i'm saying for the singles and just kind of pick up what i'm saying for traits so when it comes to the person that they are embodying the sort of personality that they have it's somebody who's very independent someone who likes their freedom but it's going to settle down with you really really nicely because i feel like you two are going to travel together really really nicely you're going to travel you're going to laugh you're going to have so much good experiences it's someone who once you actually claim your independence for yourself it's going to be really really good for you to um, move really directly into this relationship i feel like you've had a, an issue with independence or you've kind of not known where to they're telling me not know where to insert the independence because I feel like in relationships before if you've either given maybe too much or not enough and it's that kind of like I am an independent person I need somebody who has that those qualities or respects me for being like that but I feel like a lot of people you've been with maybe have been too needy who have been too clingy and you haven't really liked that or they've not been clingy enough and they've not been loving enough and you've almost been left out in the cold and left in the dark so I definitely feel like you could be this person as well who is looking at the past too much and it's almost like, I'm so like, girl, you need to look into the future. If this is a guy, guy, look into the future because it's like, it's all there for you and it's just a very, it's a very straight path, especially because we've got the lovers and sweet results away. Those two are just such beautiful cards. And um, with the claim your independence, there is just something there that I feel like hasn't clicked yet. It's like, um... I'm not sure what this is. Let's have a little look. Number 13. So the only way you can grow in all your relationships now is to have a healthy sense of self-respect and self-worth. When you walk with dignity, knowing who you are, self-aware and willing to grow, trusting the value you bring, the world will mirror all this back to you in, in, to you in kind. When you say no to codependency and enmesh enmeshment enmeshment when you say no to codependency live and let live and practice taking risks as you wander into new territory for you cat spirit rejoices she is here to urge you to let your independent spirit roam free this may be the time you are facing some unpredictable situations are you hesitant to take a risk too cautious to jump into something new because you fear you can't trust yourself trust yourself cat spirit is saying go for it because you will land on your feet if nothing seems to be going according to plan there is no reason to worry cat spirit loves to mix it up and these seeming upsets will actually bring you some wondrous and unexpected opportunities get ready to pounce as you may be called to jump into something new at a moment's notice so i actually need to read all of that because i feel like a lot of that is to do with this this is who you are in the past you are not this person anymore you have had, I feel like you've had an awakening either recently or over the past few years. And a lot of these things have been mirroring back to you what you need to improve on. So as I say, you could have had experiences where you meet people who don't respect you, who don't love you for who you are, who um, kind of ignore you or don't give you the same love that you deserve. And it's almost like, no, I do deserve all these things. And these are just past experiences. These don't define who you are and these don't define your life moving forward. So... They just tell me to move forward and this person is going to come in really, really nicely. I'm not sure when this person is going to come in. I feel like you still need to do some work on yourself. Sorry to say, but you might need to. Or actually, this person could come in really, really quickly. So this could be very, very unexpected. In terms of if you actually know this person, I feel like both of you still have work to do. But this person that you are thinking of, for a few of you, this could be the person that you're actually going to be with for essentially the rest of your life but both of you have some work to do still i feel like you're on the verge of kind of moving forward but you're just not there yet but very very soon so let's pull out one more card for the fairy realm and let's see if there's any information i need to know so we've got breaking free that's exactly what you're doing you're breaking free from old patterns you're breaking free from old cycles Everything new is coming in towards you, which is really, really nice. Someone who's going to be really good with children as well. Someone who has black hair, blonde hair, um, red hair. 
someone with a slim body. I feel like for a man, if you're looking for a man, uh, someone who's muscular. And for a woman is someone who likes sports. So someone who's quite fit. And yeah, in terms of height, I'm getting... I'm getting a range, so it could be like, for women, very small women, for a guy, a very tall guy, so, yeah, it's, I'm feeling like a bit of a height difference between you two, whether that be they're smaller or taller than you, if it's a guy, I'm definitely feeling like they're taller than you, if it's a girl, definitely smaller, So that is it for you guys. I'm not really sure. Actually, no, I'm actually, before I go, I'm getting eye colours now. So I'm getting dark eyes. So brown, brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes. Why am I getting red eyes? Maybe, I don't know why I'm getting red eyes. <laughs> I don't know why. Someone who's witchy as well. Someone who's like into, I want to say satanic things, which sounds quite a morbid, but it's not. It's like um, they, they have a sense of the dark side of spirits as well. But in a good way, so they understand like death and things like that. Could also be someone who works at a funeral place as well. So yeah, someone who's very in control as well. Someone who's very in control of, like very settled with um, both sides of life, the dark and the light, which is really, really nice. So someone who can feel like you can, um, can protect you as well. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please let me know if this resonated down below. And if you would like to, please subscribe to my channel. My name is The Crystal Girl and I'm doing private readings. So any all the information to do with my private readings is down below. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.